Welcome. This is SPSS PSY 3840. I'm Professor Coolidge. We are up to Unit 12, the two-factor ANOVA. So what's different now is the one-factor ANOVA only does one independent factor upon one dependent variable. This will allow us to look at how two different variables affect uh, means and how they interact. So let's go into this lecture. Now the two-factor ANOVA says how do two independent variables, each has to have a minimum of two levels, how do they interact to affect a single dependent variable? And the language in a two-factor ANOVA, as you'll read in the book in chapter 12, for this unit 12, is that there are two main effects. This is one for each independent variable and an interaction effect between the two variables. So we've got three effects. The first main effect, the second main effect, and the interaction effect. And so we're going to look at this data set with adult patients with ADHD. And so because these are independent variables, we can code them in single columns. So gender is one variable, age is the other variable, and our dependent variable is inattention. So the higher the score, the more the inattention. So let's get started in analyzing this data. So we'll go to open up our data set. And now this data is going to be the data that appears on page 286 in chapter 12. And let's look and figure out what our variables are. They're pretty obvious, but so we've got a gender variable and we're looking at one male, two female. We'll say okay. We've got an age variable, and this so gender has two levels. That's considered a main effect. Here's our second main effect, and this second main effect has got one, two, and three. This is younger people, middle, more middle-aged people, and older people. And the thing we're measuring is inattention. And this is a if you look in your book on page 286, you see. Uh, one incident, these are behavioral observations for 10 minutes, one incident means there's little inattention and 16, a high score, means a lot of inattention. So a high score is a bad score. So if we go back into our data view, then this means that this first case is a male in the younger group with a 12 out of 16 inattention. So this is a real, this is the maximum inattention. Here's the minimum inattention, one incident. I don't think there were any zeros in that data. Okay, so we'll go to Analyze. We'll come down here to General Linear Model and we'll go Univariate because we're only measuring one thing and that's inattention. This is what this would look like initially and actually have this one highlighted. So what's our dependent variable? What's the thing we're measuring? Inattention. What are our two fixed factors? Well, one is gender, and the other one is age. In psychology, we'll, I've never seen a random factor, so we wouldn't click these over to random. They'll always be fixed factors. And we'll leave these options alone right now, because all we're doing is trying to conduct the ANOVA. So we'll go into OK. And here's what tells us that we plugged in the 24 males right and the 24 females right because we knew there were 48 total subjects and we knew there were 16 young, 16 middle, and 16 older. Okay. And here is our test between the between subjects effects. And this is what I said is kind of tricky. So if you look in your books on page 290. We have a source table, but th their SPSS source table has a lot more going on in it. So first of all, we can ignore the corrected model, this whole row. We can ignore the intercept, ignoring that whole row. So the first thing that this thing will line up compared to our books on page 290 is you can see gender. So here's the gender sums of squares. Degrees of freedom are number of levels minus one, so there are two levels of gender, minus one is one. Here's the mean squares, here's the F value, so we know that 
the gender means, the two means for gender, are significantly different in terms of inattention. Of course, it didn't give us those means, which should be automatic, but this is less than p less than 0.05, so we know that gender is significant. The next thing that we need is age. We see here's age sums of squares. Three levels of age minus one is two. Here's the mean squares, and here's our f value for age. So do the th mean inattention for the three levels of age, do they significantly differ? Yes, p less than 0 .000, so that's less than 05. Here's the gender by age interaction, the interaction of the two main effects, sums of squares. This degrees of freedom, as it says in the book, is this times this, so one times two is two. Here's our mean squares for that, and our f value. Here's our error term, sums of squares, 42 degrees of freedom. Now we get that, now this is a little bit tricky. Is notice we've got two totals, but in the book it says that the total we need has a degrees of freedom of total number of um, actual inattention scores, there were 48, minus one. So which of these two rows do we want? Well, this is the proper degrees of freedom, so the degrees of freedom will help us identify which one we need. So we need corrected total, this row right here. So that's the total sums of squares, and actually that total sums of squares will be the sum of this, this, this and this will add up to this. How did we get the error degrees of freedom? Subtract these five degrees of freedom, this one, this one, two main effects, any interaction, from 47, which yields 42. So this will help you match up in the book. Here's the mean squares for error. This gets divided into the interaction to produce this f value. This gets divided into this one to produce this f value and this mean squares for error gets divided into here to give us this f value. And how we analyze the interaction means, how we analyze the gender means and age means is chapter 13. <laughs>